Super Street Fighter 2 X, or Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo as it was known in the West, hit the arcades in 1994 and is the fifth installment in the Street Fighter 2 sub-series of Street Fighter games. Several new gameplay mechanics, not present in previous versions of Street Fighter 2, were introduced into this game, including the addition of super combos and air combos. It also introduced the secret character Goki, Akuma, who would go on to become a recurring character in later Street Fighter installments and other Capcom fighting games. Super Street Fighter 2 X was the first Street Fighter game released in the arcades to feature an adjustable speed setting. The game speed can be adjusted throughout the system's configuration by the game's operator, or if the speed setting is set to free select, can be chosen by the player at the start of the game. Additionally, there are other minor additions to the game over the previous Super Street Fighter 2. The PlayStation port found on the Street Fighter Collection compilation is very close to the arcade original, however it does suffer from awfully long loading times. Much longer than any other port, bar the CD32 version. This port apparently suffers from slight processing glitches that make the controls unresponsive during close quarter combat in certain stages. There is also a glitch that allows Guile to throw two Sonic Boom projectiles on screen at the same time. Released on June 13, 2001 in Japan, Super Street Fighter 2 X Revival features all new character illustrations and some new backgrounds, 
as well as mixing in some from Street Fighter Zero 2, such as Chun Li's stage. Most of the basic character sprites and animations were transferred from the Super Famicom version of the original Super Street Fighter 2. The new techniques that were added from Super X use the same sprites and animation from the arcade version. This results in a few characters suddenly growing in size for the moment when they perform their certain special moves, such as Guile's standing heavy kick. Only Akuma uses character sprites exclusively from the arcade version and his advancing and retreating animations are different as a result. The port was the first home port and for the time, the best arcade to home port of a Street Fighter game out there. While the graphics are more accurately reproduced compared to the previous console ports for 16-bit platforms, some of the backgrounds don't score like they do in the arcade version and they're missing a lot of animation. The blood was also replaced by sweat, including the defeat portraits of the characters, and the score system when performing combos is not accurately reproduced. The soundtrack is really good though, it features the same remix music from the FM Towns version of Super Street Fighter 2, with a few additional remixes specific to Super X. This port also features simultaneous button cancels, a feature that only existed in the arcade versions up until Hyper Fighting. Saturn port is pretty much the same as the PlayStation, although the loading times are nowhere near as long. It also saves quicker and apparently has more animation, although I've not actually analysed each port to see how much more. The best thing about the Saturn port though, is the Saturn's control pad. Playing this game on a Japanese controller or a second gen PAL controller is bliss. Round 1 
Super Street Fighter 2X for matching service for the Dreamcast was a Japanese exclusive mail order release via the Dreamcast Direct Store. This port features an online versus mode using Capcom's matching service. The matching service sadly closed down on September 1st, 2003. The bonus minigames from previous versions of Street Fighter 2, which were cut in the arcade version, were restored in this port and can be enabled via a special options menu. The port is considerably more accurate than the PlayStation and Saturn versions, as almost nothing was changed, aside for the score display. There are hidden versions of Goki in this port, including Ten Goki, who can use the Shin Goku Satsu technique as a super combo. Other secret options are available as well. It also features an additional speed setting, including three new faster ones, speeds 4 to 6, and a very slow speed, speed 0, that doesn't remove any frames. Eurocom developed the MS-DOS port and while it's pretty close to the arcade version, it is missing an awful lot of animation. It also features an all new arranged soundtrack, which in my opinion is pretty poor compared to that found on the 3DO. The biggest change in this port is the game's resolution. The game is played with a resolution of 320 by 200 on compatible machines. And, since the graphic data is ported straight from the arcade version, all the characters appear larger due to the narrow screen size. Because of this, the distance between both fighters at the beginning of the match is slightly narrower than in the arcade. In 2008, Blackbone Entertainment released a downloadable online version titled Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo HD Remix for the PlayStation Network and Xbox Live Arcade. Featuring 1080p high definition graphics compared to the original 224 pixels, 
and a rebalanced roster, based upon the source code from Super Street Fighter 2 X for matching service for the Dreamcast. Sadly, the game has a lot of issues, from rubbish music and awful voice samples to some questionable art choices. Still, I'm sure many will approve of this remake. Ryu wins! Perfect! And let's end on with the stinker of all ports, the Amiga version. Actually, this is running on the Amiga CD32. Ported by Humansoft, yeah, I don't know who they are either. This port is missing a crapload of character and background animations. That would kind of be acceptable if the game played well enough, but it doesn't. What we have here is a broken mess with very long load times. And let's take a look at all those versions of Super Street Fighter 2 X running side by side. Which version do you think is the best? <laughs> 